Hello, Zoomers, and we're going through. Let's get back to Super Mario 64 for the Switch version of 3D Mario All Stars. Is that right? I actually have forgotten. Either way, we're going into a dead end now. Bye! Shifting Sandlands in the Talons of the Big Bird. Yep, last episode we completely did Lethal Lava Land, which I had a surprising amount of difficulty completing. I'm already dead, aren't I? Nope, not yet. Ooh, okay, good. We're out of the sinking sand bit. I hate when the camera does that. Now, this episode, we're heading right over there towards that big bird so we can already see the star. He's honestly not that hard to get. Looks like he's going to circle around this one, so we're going to pop over here. All you gotta do is jump up and hit him. Like so. And now you gotta watch out for the bird this time. The damn vulture. Because he actually swipes at you and tries to steal your hat. And as you don't have your hat, you actually take double damage. Yeah, the hat is the source of Mario's power. And Mario Odyssey has taught us anything. Hats are power. <laughs> Okay, shining atop of the pyramid. Easy star. Boing. That normally reaches me up there. Either way. Uh, yep. We're gonna grab this shell. And grab this star as well. The same thing with Evil Lava Land. This level has like two individual maps. And one is inside the pyramid. And when the time comes for us to go inside the pyramid, that's when we're gonna go and grab the 100 coin star. Assuming I don't die, like in Lethal Lava Lands. I will probably scream if that happens. Inside the ancient pyramid! Oh wow, that was fast. Well, I guess it's 100 coin time. Turn around and you'll find yourself a red coin. Just be careful, because as you get further in, the hill gets super close and you will slip off the uh, sinking sand edge of the world. Didn't mean to go that far. Yeah. Nice! Nice shot! Oh yeah! I wonder how this will work on him. Fire! Works pretty well, but I don't want to hit him there. Yeah, yeah, good. The head gives you a blue coin. Gotta buy ourselves some goombas, some sticky sticky goombas. The goombas are dead. The goomba population is now zero for shifting sandlands, and Mario is said to be the culprit, but. We'll never know. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where I went then. Another way to kill these easy is just do this. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go and... Yeah, we're gonna go around on the shell. Uh... I forget how many coins are inside the pyramid itself. I think there is a fair few in terms of blue coins near the start. Whoa! As I said, he dives at you. Take that. I'll take all these. I will take these. Oh. Okay, I can't grab those. Uh, oh. No! Oh my god, I actually would have slipped down into the, uh, the sinking sand slash death pit. That is below, but somehow the fire has kept me alive. Boing! You get me over here! Oh my god, how did I survive that? I don't know. Yeah, oh god damn it. That sinking sand there is literally instant death. You fall in it? Well, that's as I said, it's instant death. I missed. No, I missed. Yeah. 
Missed again. Do I miss times two? There is a cannon on this level, but honestly, I never use it. It's pointless. I almost missed. Do I miss times two and a half? Between three quarters. I don't know. <laughs> I think I've got more than enough coins. I ain't going... Okay, we're gonna go and get this, uh, Pokey. Get the blue coin out of him. Ugh. And now we're going into the pyramid. Watch out for Tornado. He normally gets you anyway. Normally gets you twice. And then you'll say. No, no! Oh, in you go. Now try not to die. Because if you do die, you will be set back inside this place. 15 coins right here. Oh, really? You do a side flip when she hit the sand. Ugh. But yeah, there should be more than enough coins on the inside of this place to give us what we need. There better be. Because I pretty much got almost every single coin outside. The only thing I left was like two... Like... Two red coins? Yeah, I've got six. Six out of eight. There's only like two red coins left out there. And maybe like two normal coins, I do believe, on two of the pillars. So I'm pretty confident there is more than enough coins in here to finish this off. And the way to find out is to gotta get them all. Or at least try to get as much as you can. <laughs> uh, don't worry about my commentary for Mario. As you know, for my commentary, I find it easier to talk about stuff when there's like a story involved to an extent. So I can talk about the story and like theories and blah blah blah. Mario doesn't really have that big of a story to it. It's just, oh, the princess is in danger. Mario, go save it. Just go to this level, that level, and oh, you're done. Yippee! <laughs> Pretty much Mario in a nutshell. But, uh, yeah. Other games like the Zelda games and that, they're easier for me to talk about. Speaking of Zelda games, that's my next. That's one of the Zelda games that I haven't done on my channel yet. Is next. After this one. I practiced it a few times, so we're all good for it. I only need five coins, and there's five coins here. One, two, three. What's this? Oh, oh, I missed one. Say what? Yeah, I did it on purpose. I want to grab it here. <laughs> and that's the 100 coin star there. One of the more annoying uh, stars in the whole game to ever get, depending on the level. Ah! I could normally jump over that. I think there's a heart here. At least this pyramid has a heart. If only I had a heart. Or something like that. I don't know. Now I'm gonna watch out for shocky balls that are angry. I don't think I ever noticed that anger vein symbol. Anime anger sign. You know what? That'll do. Thank you for the ride. A lot more coins up here. And we are done. Yay! Here we go! <laughs> but he could have saw my face just then. I did something stupid. Alright, back in we go. Only three stars left? Three stars left. Standing on the tall four pillars. Easy enough. Yeah, as usual. Bleh. At least I no longer have to worry about the hundred coins. I think the shell should be all I need to get this level done. As long as the tornado doesn't knock me off the shell. 
Yeah, the shell can keep you safe down here. And then hopefully that's it. Nope. Okay, let's uh... I must have skimmed one somewhere. Let's try again. Over here. There we go. Spinning our way around. I don't think so. He's spitting hot fire at me. In we go. By the way, you can always just do this. Jump off and go towards that star if you want. Um, yeah, I think what we're looking for is right here. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. Hmm, interesting chair. Whoa! Who walk here? Who break seal? Wake, ancient ones. We no like light. Rumble. We no like intruders. Now battle. Hand to hand. Okay. Punch. Yeah, just punch the eye. Punch. You said battle hand to hand. That's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, that's the end of one hand. This one is now also done. Oh, what happened? We crushed like pebble. You're so strong. You rule ancient pyramid for today. Now take power star. We sleep darkness. <laughs> what are you, a Kingdom Hearts villain? Darkness? Oh boy. I wonder if they're ever going to come up with anything different for Kingdom Hearts other than nothing but darkness. I mean, they can make light an evil. I mean, just look at Ericus. <laughs> fly for, free fly for the eight red coins. Basically got that done last time with the hundred coins. You guys should know where they all are. Start off with the one over here. I mean, I'll just put it to you guys this way. If you don't feel confident getting this one on foot, just go and grab the shell. It makes getting this absolutely a cakewalk. You don't have to worry about any little thing. Got them! They want to go backwards. I mean, come on, man. There we go. Start by getting the coins over here. Might as well land. Because thanks to hit monkin on the shell box. By the way, the cannon location is right here. If anybody was interested in where it was. Okay. And that, the last red coin on the ground is over this way. Right there. Yeah. So watch out for you, Mr. Talons. By the way, if you wanted to get to the, the cannon area, come to the tree. Right, well, grab the tree, go down, and woo! Booyah. Oh my god, he's dive bombing at me from way over there. No! Why didn't you triple jump, Mario? This gets on my nerves sometimes, I swear. Okay, again. This time I think I'll use the shell. Unless, until those, the ones that are left are the four that are up in the sky. But yeah, I don't know why, but it's as I said to you in the early episodes, that sometimes it feels like the, um... The inputs are just so slow, like for the original N64 version, that it just doesn't respond when you put them in sometimes. Because I did click for the triple jump, but for some reason Mario didn't triple jump, he just did his normal jump. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. And yes, I know there was some coins back at the beginning. I just wanted to get those. Okay, we're off. Now go back to the beginning. 
grab that last coin that I missed. Smooth landing. Now we free fly for the last four red coins! Should be able to grab this one right away, I hope. Uh, uh, got it. Have a refresh cap. Okay, good, he did fly this time. I was a little worried he wasn't going to. He did it again! I wanted the high jump. Okay. Well, grabbing these red coins is going to be a bit of a pain. Re really? Really? I wanted to jump high. I need to get a top up on my cap, so I think it's about to run out. Well, can't prove it now. There, that's what I want to do, but on this pillar. Just gotta get that one right over there. Yay! Actual high jump. Now we can actually grab this last red coin and get the star. Yes! Because if, if we would have ran out of cap right around here, oh my god, I would have been so pissed. Move faster, Bokey. I made it! What? Ba -da. Okay, what's next? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Pyramid puzzle. Oh yeah! Ah, this this one's not too hard. Honestly though, it's actually kind of easier to get to this, but it's quicker to get to this one from from on top, believe it or not. As long as I don't mess it up. I'm gonna fly to each of the four pillars. Yeah, we're gonna release the top, because otherwise we'll have to climb the inside. Kinda don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm not baby. If you would've saw my phasmophobia videos, then yeah, I, pr I practically am. I'm a big wuss on my own. <laughs> I sort of. I got a little used to it after a while. After I had to call for backup. And then he proceeded to do everything and not let me do a thing, so what was even the point? I know, this was months ago. But for me, it was literally a week ago. Here we go. And we are in. Okay, I'm gonna jump off right here. There we go. Now jump down here. Jump to the opposite side. Jump to the opposite side again, ground pound! Good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Four. You don't have to worry about sinking in the sand here. The sand's not deep enough. Now we're just gonna grab that star and we're done for this episode! Yippee! Skippy! Oh. We are done! We're gonna go and grab one more star though before we end this episode. I need a little bit of my shrooms. Toad shrooms, that is. Booyah! Got the star! Alright then, that'll do guys. Hope you've all enjoyed in the next episode. We are going into this metallic madness we call a level of Hazy Maze Cave. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye! I can't get a good camera angle. Okay, bye-bye.